Good morning, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I am a third year PhD student in history and African American studies here at Yale. And today I'm taking you along for a little day of my life because it's going to be a busy one. Thursdays are the most hectic day of my week because this is the day that I teach my sections. I am a teaching fellow at Yale, which means that as a third year PhD student, I am expected to teach the sections for a lecture course. So the lecture course meets twice a week and then section meets once a week. And I have two different sections that meet at five o'clock and seven o'clock on Thursdays. And essentially it's a discussion group to discuss the readings as well as to add further texture to the lectures. So the, for example, the course that I'm currently teaching, we are talking about the American Revolution today and we're taking a bit more of a geopolitical perspective on the topic rather than the social history aspect of the topic, which is my personal love and specialty. So I'm going to use the sections today and build out a lesson plan to talk a little bit about alternative perspectives on the American Revolution and various actors. So I'm going to be using Mary Norton's book, Liberty's Daughters, to talk about the women in the revolution and their role in, for example, economic revolutionary movements and then we're going to shift and look at the lives of enslaved and free black people in North America during the American Revolution, indigenous communities during the American Revolution, and using Colin Calloway's book to add a little bit of context to that discussion as well as talking about loyalists, so those that remain loyal to the crown during the American Revolution. And that is a topic that I spent basically my entire undergrad focused on. So I'm excited to return to some of the old material that I was really invested in when I was an undergrad. And I'm just excited to share that with my students today. But this morning, I am just getting up, sitting at my computer, having my cup of coffee and getting some web edits and other little admin things done. I have a couple of emails I need to send out. I have some meetings for my prospectus that I want to have scheduled. So I'm just going to be spending the morning getting that all set up and squared away. And then I'm going to go over with my friend Elian to go to a coffee shop and get some work done there. In which case, then I'm going to switch gears and focus on my lesson plan and my slide deck. So the way I kind of break up my day is by either moving location or using a timer in order to break up different tasks. So this morning is really focused on admin and then I'm gonna switch gears and focus on lesson planning when I go to the coffee shop. And then hopefully I'll have my lesson planning done by the time I head to lecture because then I have about a two hour break before my class. And by then I would like to focus on grading. So I am responsible for all of the grading in the course that I'm teaching. So I have to get the midterm exams marked for our students and I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling now and take you along for the rest of this day in my life. Thank you so much to the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. Factor is a company that I've worked with in the past. They are a customizable meal prep service that has numerous options for those of us on the go. I struggle to find time to cook and to meal prep. And something that's really important as someone who was a former professional athlete is knowing how much nutrition actually really impacts your performance, your productivity, your focus, and everything in between. And what I really love about Factor is that you have these pre-made meals that you can just throw in the microwave for two minutes and they are nutritionally complete. They're delicious. And they also have various options in case you are, for example, keto or you're vegan and you're trying to reduce the amount of dairy in your diet. So for example, the last time that I worked with Factor, I actually just had them select whatever it is that they wanted. And I said that I didn't have any dietary restrictions, which is true. I technically eat just about everything. However, this time I really wanted to try to limit the amount of dairy in my diet because I am lactose intolerant. And although I do take a lactate pill, it is really nice to not have to worry about it. 
And so I asked for them to send me their non-dairy and vegan options. And I have to say, I am not somebody that usually eats vegan, but their options are delicious. I just really love it because it's quick, it's easy. I'm a student, I'm an entrepreneur, and it just doesn't leave a lot of time to cook. And it's really nice knowing that I have Factor in my fridge preset so that way all I have to do is throw it in the microwave or take it with me to campus so I can throw it in the microwave and I will have a nutritionally complete meal that will help keep me focused and running throughout the day, especially on days like today when I'm gonna be going until 8 p.m. And if you would like a discount and to check out Factor for yourself, go ahead and check out the links below. I absolutely love them and have been really enjoying working with their team. So go ahead and go check them out because I think that you'll really enjoy it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into the video. studying with Elian at Fussy and got my slides done for section today. I need to do a little bit of review, but honestly, it's stuff that I worked on a lot while I was an undergrad and I feel like I know the material pretty well and I'm also going to pull up some information from the article that I've been working on, which is on runaway slaves and free blacks in the American Revolution. There's quite a bit to go through in terms of on the ground perspectives on the revolution that we're not gonna be able to cover because you could basically do an entire course on it. But now I am heading off to lecture where I'm gonna go take notes and then I will probably run home for a little while and take care of Moo and get a little bit more work done before the sections this evening. Class went very well today. We were talking about the makings of the American Revolution, talking about the various taxation acts and regulation of the colonies by the British in the wake of the French and Indian War, the Seven Years' War, and the expense of the Seven Years' War, and the right to consent to taxation. And now I'm going to head back to campus. I came home to have some lunch. I had my meal from Factor. I had the three bean vegan chili, which had this corn casserole kind of thing on the side. It was really good. And now I'm gonna head over to campus to go teach my section. And then I'm gonna stay on campus, probably grab a snack or a coffee, and then go teach my second section. So let's go on and continue with the day. and the first section went so well. We talked about various perspectives on the American Revolution, loyalism, who decided to stay loyal to the crown, who decided to join the Patriots. I asked the question of whether the students believed that the American Revolution and the War for Independence was considered a civil war. And we discussed that and the historiographical background on that. It was just a really good discussion and I had a really good time getting to talk about some of the material that I studied in undergrad and that really got me interested in history. 
and now I have a little bit of a break and then I am gonna be teaching my second section. I talked to my boyfriend on the phone for a little while. We just got back from a trip in Vermont and I just realized that I didn't actually share the footage from that trip. So I figured I would insert some of those clips here and I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> that now it is time to get on with the rest of the day of teaching and a long night of getting work done before I head out for another trip tomorrow. Hey. Hi. I am back home. I had such a great time teaching today. I just really enjoy getting to work with my students and especially getting to talk about loyalism and the American Revolution. It's just something that I find really fascinating. And why is this like so bright? Oh, that's not cute. Had a really good discussion and now I am back home. I went ahead and put some applesauce into a mug because it is a snack that I really like eating. And I got some apple sauce when I was in Vermont. I filled up my new water bottle from Notion that they sent to me. So thank you to them for sending this. I'm so excited. And I am just gonna sit here. I have a bunch of videos I need to edit and get out to some brands. So I'm just gonna sit here and get a little bit of work done and check in with the team, see if any of them are working and might wanna co-work before the accountability workshop that's gonna run at like 10 and just see if anybody wants to hang out. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of work done editing and then shower and get ready for bed and that'll be my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you along the ride for the rest of the evening and hope that I don't have to go to bed super late. We emailed a bunch of apartments today. Oh. So just burning off the extra energy from that. That's exciting. I found some that are cute, affordable, and less, smaller, shorter commute than it is from Jersey City, but farther away from you. That's super cute. Isn't it? All right, I just ended all my edits on my YouTube videos and it is time to prepare for bed, which means that it is time to wrap up today's vlog. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video and keeping me fueled all throughout the day with their lovely home delivered meals. If you're interested in checking them out, they're going to be linked in the description box down below. So, and I hope that you enjoyed this video coming along, hearing a little bit about my lesson planning and all of that. And if you enjoyed, please remember to give it a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.